Shay, Steve, what up? Hey guys. What up guys? Today we have something a little different for you. See, one of our favorite things to do is people watch. People watching. I will say this. We're ninjas. <laughs> when it comes to snooping on other people's conversations, we are ninjas. We are ninjas. You won't know that we're listening to you. <laughs> you won't know that we're talking about you right now. We are three feet away from you. We're good at it. We pretend that we're talking about something else. We laugh. Ha 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 ha. Big laughs about you. And you are three feet away. And you will not know. Why? Because we are ninjas. <laughs> we see people do weird things. And um, one of the most interesting things is couples. Seeing couples. And today we saw a couple. Right? So story time. Story time. But before I get into the story, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. Please hit the bell. Don't wow and not hit the bell. You gotta hit the bell. You gotta hit the bell. So we went to this restaurant um, for brunch or breakfast or whatever. In LA, sometimes the, the tables are really close together. So it's almost like you're sitting next to each other, but you're really not. Yeah, we were like two feet away from this couple. Yeah. And he just was talking. And then he talks in this voice. Some people have like a voice where it carries. Yeah. He talks in this voice where it's like, okay, he's talking to all of us, so we might as well just listen in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he, I think he <laughs> wanted to be people watched, so we obliged. Yes, we did. <laughs> just to paint a little picture, both very good looking people, this is L.A., mm -hmm. and she sort of kind of looks like a trophy wife type. I think she could probably fit in that thing, and he's very much like the bravado, hey, I know everything, meh. Yeah. Um... So he just kept on talking, and he kept on talking, and he kept on talking. Yeah. And the one thing he was talking about was complaining. He was like, I'm very sensitive to complainers. When people complain, I'm very sensitive to it. He's just like, I don't think that, I don't think that you're a complainer. All right. I just think that, you know, sometimes when you say you're tired, it's like, why say that you're tired? Why not just not be tired? That was what caught me. Yeah. I was like, me? Yeah. <laughs> and the girl at this time, she really isn't saying it much, but she's saying like, well, if my back hurts, my back hurts. Right. I don't know what to do about that. Like, right. do you not want me to say that? Right. And it seemed like they had been dating for a little bit. I would say they were dating for no more than three months. Yeah. He was on this like, I am trying to do great with my life and you should learn everything that you can from me. Here's the thing with this guy. <laughs> This guy, and this is going to sound weird, I think he's the kind of guy who can only, and this is of course uh, generalizing, sorry, I'm sweating like a oh, race car. I don't know why I sweat so much. He's the kind of guy who can only date a woman like her, if that sounds wrong. Because a woman who's like, dude, shut up. He, he, they're not going to, like, you couldn't date a guy like that in any kind of way, shape, or form. Mm -mm. So this is a couple things we learned mm -hmm. from this guy and from this relationship. Now, we will say this. We will preface this by saying this. We are totally judging a book by its cover. Totally. We could be totally wrong. We could be off base. And that's lesson number one. Don't, and that's judge, lesson. A, don't judge a book by its cover, please. Do not. When you're people watching, you have to understand you are judging a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. But in life... Um, do, it. do it less. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson number one. Lesson number one. <laughs> um, we don't talk about people all the time. No. But we we be judging. <laughs> but we know we're judging, and we understand that it's a judgment, and it's not necessarily true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What well, we're just trying to get lessons from yeah. relationships like that. Yeah. So whatever his cover was, we saw that cover and said, "What can we learn from that?" Right. What's lesson number two, baby cakes? All right. Lesson number two. When you have to talk so much about being deep, then you're probably not deep. I had some similarities to this when I was in my early 20s, and maybe mid-20s, where I would, I, I would think, <laughs> whatever, man. You did. I would think I was super deep, and I would just have these really in-depth things. But when you're not really at a higher vibration, when you're really not at that point, and you're talking about stuff at that point, you're coming from a place of ego. And that's what he was doing. He was like, I do this, I do that, I do this, I do that. He wasn't really 
about connecting. It was just about projecting. I spoke to my mentor yesterday. Yeah. And, um, you need a yeah, you need a mentor. I I would like to have a mentor, but you know. When I hear people say that, I'm usually just like, you just want to, you just want to project that you're serious about your life. Just be serious about your life. Right. Just be serious about your life. Right. Basically, let your life speak for itself. Because speak louder when than you words. want to be, de- and it's okay when you're like dating and you're like, okay, I want to have a deeper meaning to my life, and this is what I've learned for today. I don't know if it's necessarily true or if. I'm gonna live with this for the rest of my life, but this is what I've learned. Right. right. Because when Stephen was younger and he used to come at me with this like deep stuff, some of the things I would take, but some of the things I'd be like, no. She hit me with the not everything is black and white. No. And, not black and white. I think today, sometimes still today, I have to learn that lesson or yeah. like to really let that settle in. But sometimes I'd be like, if they do this, mm-hmm. then they are that. Mm-hmm. And um, that's not always the case. You're good with that now. I'm pretty good with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I see other got, people's perspectives. and You've gotten better. Thank you. I you appreciate won't. you for acknowledging that. Number three. What you want should not dominate the whole entire relationship. That's a big one. Because then the other person becomes a slave to your desires. Mm-hmm. And that's... Mm-hmm. The, listen now. <laughs> <laughs> listen now. <laughs> And and it's it's not a slave master thing. Relationships it's a no, give and take thing. No. Now to express your dislikes and wants and desires is perfectly fine, but to dominate a conversation where it's completely and totally about that is not cool. But what I would say as well is, it's always a two way street. Like he's doing that, it's her job to be like, I hear you, I recognize that. I also don't like this because I feel like that's um, her letting him know I'm not here for you. We are here for us. Yes. Yes. You hear him? Yeah. Number four. When you're looking at someone else's flaws, you sometimes don't look at your own. Yeah. Kind of like we're doing now. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> we recognize that we are judging people by their cover right now. We're also learning from them as well. Yeah. So we want you to learn from them too. Exactly. So we're taking what we, we see and we say, you know, how can we project this into uh, a lesson? Right. And I feel like he was, it was constant. It was constant like what I don't like, what I try to do, what you shouldn't do. Like it was never like, so what don't you like? What yeah. do you think that I shouldn't do? Yeah. Like, what would you, what would bother you? Like, there was none of that. Yeah. It was all about what he wanted and what he thought should happen. Yeah, I didn't know what her voice sounded like. No. Yeah. But he's like so stuck on uh, his higher way of being that he's not realizing he's being insensitive. Mm-hmm. And complaining for the sake of complaining, yeah, it can cut down your spiritual life and all that stuff. But uh, you complaining about it is not exactly a thing. So number five. So something that I noticed was that she kept looking over at our table. Like to see if we're listening. When you're self-conscious about what your partner is saying out loud, then you need to take a look at if you're self-conscious because you just, they're saying it too loud or because you don't believe what they're saying. Yeah. Or you don't have confidence in your person. Like you're you're embarrassed by your person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a big one. That's a big one. You're embarrassed about your person because of how they talk or how their energy that they give off or even their looks, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Um, you got to reevaluate. Mm-hmm. You got to reevaluate why you feel the way you feel. Right. And it's not embarrassment like, oh my God, he's going to go ahead and like just try to be funny. Like That's a different kind of embarrassment because sometimes people are like, oh, he's so, he's so cute or yeah. he's so sweet or he's just being fun. Yeah. It's a different kind of embarrassment than when somebody's saying something and you're like, yeah, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So be aware of that. Yeah. But anyway, that is our edition of... People Watching. People Watching What We Love To Do. Yeah. That was sexy. <laughs> <laughs> that was sexy. Listen, we have to cut these cameras off, girl. <laughs> People Watching. That's what we're going to do. We're not, we're not going to do this every week, right? No, it's just... Every once in a while. Every once in a while, we'll do a people watching edition. We'll tell you a little story about somebody we saw who was doing something crazy or saying something wild, usually couples, and uh, we'll let you know about it. We'll we'll tell you what we learned about it. Mm -hmm. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, 
comment, share, subscribe. We gotta get a head right. Okay. Hey, remember to <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe. Shani, Steve, we out!